Hello everybody, Raven Knight here, and welcome back to another map tour video. This is a series where we go through all of the maps of For Honor, and I show you guys what you might have missed, some cool stuff about it if you've never seen it before, and just kind of give you a neat little tour. Now, I want to remind you guys, this is not a historical-based video. I'm not here talking about the historical implications, for the most part. I'm mostly just going to be talking about what we see here, what you guys might have missed, and what I like about the map, or what I don't like about the map. So, this is Asuma giving us the tour. So, let's go ahead and get started, Asuma. Let's start looking around. This is, if we were doing this in Dominion, this is the Defender spawn point. It seems to lead back into a deeper portion of the mire with this main gate here. And we have a side gate here, which probably leads back to the barracks. If I had to be a betting boy, I would say that. So, let's start by going down the center pathway. So, let's see what we got. We cross over a drawbridge. I really like this draw. Actually, what I like about the drawbridge is, again, we see over here these two little um, spigots that probably run out rainwater into the water. But what I find funny is it's raining right now. Where's the water? <laughs> Maybe it's just not raining hard enough for that. We have a little side passageway here, which probably leads into an inner walkway, which would go up to zone A or up to the bridge, if I had to guess. That would be my first guess. Walk underneath a large wooden makeshift bridge. Now, notice the difference here. Over there, that bridge is made of stone, whereas this one is made of wood, which tells me that this one was made impromptu. This was not an original part of the architecture. And you can also see that there's no damage to the stone work around the bridge, so it's not like the bridge was destroyed in war or destroyed due to a catastrophe. It looks to me like they built this last minute to make a much quicker way to get to zone A and B from the defender point, which you may have to have happen. Now over here, we have a battering ram. This is a rolling battering ram, pretty big. What I find interesting about this is I have no idea how you got it here. I mean, I guess you could make the argument that it ran through these right here if you're from the attacking lane. Um, but I think it's interesting, wouldn't it want to batter down the entryway over there? Why is it battering down over here? I guess there's something beyond there, some kind of ca castle or palace or village or town or city i don't know i just think it's interesting that it's set up right here to batter against this door and you gotta wonder how did it get here and how did it get set up here <laughs> something that i just kind of find funny about that it's pretty neat now if we can look over here can we see the head it is a samurai head interesting so the samurai are trying to break in are they kind of cool now if you come over here we see the fighting zone uh that is close to zone a Got a cool few dragon heads sticking out here. Pretty artistic. And, of course, we have the spoky, uh, the spike spike walls here. We have all these spikes that will impale you if you happen to be fighting over here. Always hate fighting over here because I always read it wrong. Let's walk through this little walkway here together. Pretty neat, right? <laughs> Not a lot to say about it. All right. Let's keep moving up the main pathway. Now here again, we see that this is all made of stone. This was probably a part of the original architecture. If we walk through here, once again, not a whole lot to say about it. Although I will say with this pathway down here, it seems to lead into the under bowels of the, of the territory. So it may lead to a dungeon of some kind. Doubt it. The samurai probably didn't have a whole lot of dungeons, at least not a, not many of them. Usually for the samurai, prison was a place you sat and waited for sentencing. Like, it was kind of the way it worked. Most of the time, your sentence was death or the severing of an arm or you know like usually usually death was the consequence for disobedience or treason so there you go now we're walking up or towards the attacker's entryway if you look at it from the attacker's perspective we have a few palisades set up to stop them there needed to be more but what really gets me is the fact that these palisades are still up again how did the cat how did the battering ram get there if these palisades are still up <laughs> Something that I'm kind of wondering about. How did that work? All right, we've come over to the attacker spawn zone, and here you can see two siege towers. We can see how the attackers got in. And over here we see a spiked ball. Why are you sitting there, Mr. Spiked Ball? What are, what are you doing? Now we look over here and we see this uh, big wall with what look like archery uh, firing zones built into these... Uh, raising windows as i would call them so it looks like they were prepared to defend this area gotta wonder where the archers are there to stop the attackers but that's neither here nor there let's keep going we walk through this pathway 
Now, if you take a look over here, you can see the mire. And you kind of got to wonder, okay, we see the siege towers. How do the siege towers get through all this marshland? That's got to be rough. And where's the rest of them? You're going to need more siege towers than that, Baba Louie. We got a big old lion here marking the entryway. An enormous catapult. Just look at that. But it doesn't look like it fires bolts. It fires those spiky balls. Um, you're raised a little bit high. In fact, if we take a look over here, the trajectory of that would go over the trees, but there's nothing there that I can see that you'd be firing at. You kind of want something to fire at, I would think, but neither here nor there. Let's go into zone A. Zone A, I kind of wonder what its initial uh, need was. With all these trap doors, you kind of got to wonder. Maybe it's a way to get into the underbowels of the uh, area. Like if you had little boats coming in or fishing boats, you could pull up fish or hauls through these trap doors. But otherwise, I don't see a whole lot of use for this territory from a practical sense. Like the way I look at all these fortresses is I have to think, what were they for before warfare took over them? What were they used for? What was their intent? And here, it's hard for me to think of a real intent outside of maybe a commerce location or perhaps if there's a pathway like Imagine at one point that the mire is flooded. All this is underwater. You could have boats float in, and you could raise up hulls through these trap doors. That could probably be the best that I could figure. That would be my initial guess, I would say. Got another catapult, but this one is definitely busted. It's not shooting anything anymore. <laughs> I don't know how they damage it. It looks like that spiked ball damaged it. Maybe someone was firing back at them and just managed to damage it. Interesting thought. We have some towers up in here, which... I noticed that crane here. Maybe I was right about this being a place of commerce and trade. You could use that crane to lift up large bags and bundles of supplies. Now we're walking over the makeshift bridge here. Looks very thrown together. Easily damaged. In fact, it looks like it's been recently damaged. And you can see the two uh, Neo guards. Although one looks a little worse for wear. He's just waving high. <laughs> Got another crane over here that I just missed. You can see it's holding up what it looks like, if you look over there, you can see it looks like it's holding up another catapult, a much smaller one. Um, but it looks like this one will actually work to raise and lower it. Looks like they didn't get it all the way up, though. Huge gates over here. Wonder where they lead to. Probably a stockade of some kind. And then we come to the big doorway, entryway. We have some Shide hanging from the uh, big gate over here, which tells me that this is a place of reverence. This could lead to a temple of some kind or perhaps to a very important place of worship. Um, Shide are usually put over a place when it wants to commemorate an important holy or spiritual location. So that would mean that that uh, doorway probably leads to a very important location spiritually. So, just wondering what could be behind that door. Maybe the attacker should be working to get inside that door instead. Just saying. We come back across the primary bridge. You'll notice this one does not look nearly as destroyed as that one, showing you how this one was actually built to last. We have another uh, pulley system over here, but it doesn't look like it's attached to anything. wonder where the rest of the rope is. In fact, uh, given the fact that the rope seems to be tied here, it doesn't look like this would be used for much. Doesn't look like it'd be used for much. Let's head back down here. One more thing I want to see before we go. We see these little side entrances here for the attackers to get up. Not great for the defending group. You don't want to give the attackers too many means of getting in. Ah, there you go. There's your gutter system letting the water run down. There you are. That's how that's supposed to work. I guess since we stuck around long enough, the rain finally filled it up and now it can rain down. Have a ladder set up by the attackers to get up here towards the... Um, Zone A. Big old lion smiling at us. Gotta say, I love all the attention to detail here. I mean, it's a compact map. There's not a whole lot going on, and you can't see very much because it is the Meyer map, and the swamp kind of surrounds everything. But even here, you can see the slight differences. Whenever I do these map tours, I always try to set the weather and climate and setting to fit the map it's supposed to be. So if it's a samurai map, I set it in the mire. And you'll notice that there is these distinct differences. The mire is almost always cloudy and rainy and boggy, um, which I think is really neat. I think that it's good to have a differentiation of the different settings you have. So I really like this. Now, the last thing we'll take a look at is this. If you look beyond that special door I was talking about, you can see the city beyond. You can see the city beyond. You can also see all the birds flying overhead. There's apparently been a lot of death. 
those look like carrion birds they're there to eat corpses so it looks to me like this area failed in its point of defense so that catapult or not that catapult sorry the battering ram didn't get to finish its mission but it looks like the attacker still got it anyway in fact it looks like the city's burning right now not good at least not for the samurai. For the attack, for the attackers, I'm sure it's a boon for them. But if you look around beyond the map sometimes, you will see just how much detail is put into these maps and just how huge it all feels. But that is all the time we have. I thank you guys so much for joining me on this little tour. I enjoy going through it with you guys. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.